So I'm gonna go ahead. I got a beginner ranked account here. Immediately I get promoted to first Dan. So that's how you get out of beginner rank. Mega Man Storm Eagle. Yeah, this, this is actually a, a Spotify playlist. They got some good remixes on here. It's like 161 hours of fighting game music. It's been my go-to lately when playing Tekken. Uh, you normally, what you'd want to do for your rank restrictions, uh, if you actually want to get points, you should make it plus or minus two only. Because the closer they are in rank to you, the more points that you'll get. I'm just going to leave it at like plus or minus three or even like preferred. Because um, I just don't care about points that much. If I have to do two streams to get the points that I need, uh, that's fine. I can always do a second stream. Uh, I'm going to pick Kazumi for this. Got any good Kazumi costumes? Not really. I literally have none. Um, go with the black kimono. So, some of like the key things of like low ranks, like strings, are really powerful. Kazumi's strings are not that good, um, unfortunately for me. Um, but I can throw this out. No one's going to duck this. This last hit's a high, you're supposed to duck it, and then there's this mid. That's like minus a million. It doesn't matter, because no one's going to duck this high. So I can just do this. And, um, you know, if they press, I get to be plus 13. A lot of characters have really good strings. Like, your character probably has better strings than Kazumi. So use your strings. Um, throws are really powerful at these ranks. No one's going to break 1 plus 2 throws. Kazumi has a really good 1 plus 2 throw, so I'm going to use a lot of it. Uh, it actually wall splats. Uh, another thing that's really powerful is, like, in the same vein of, like, strings are really good. Uh, plus on block moves are, whoa, I've never even seen, is that, is that Australia? I think that's Australia. We're not going to play an Australian dude. Or lady. <laughs> that is a little too far away. Oh, no. What happened? We're back? I think we're back. Tekken just minimized itself for some reason. That's how far away... That's how far away... an Australian Tekken connection was. It actually broke the game. It had to minimize itself. It's like, we're not supposed to match him with anyone that far away. But for the same reason that uh, strings are really good, plus on block moves, highs and mids, and plus on hit lows are going to be really good. Because, uh, for example, everybody has a jab. If they block this jab, I'm plus one, which means jab, jab, frame traps into itself. That's really good because a lot of people at low ranks just want to press. So I can just do jab, 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 jab. Uh, jab down forward one isn't a true frame trap. Most characters down forward one is your fastest mid. Some characters have like a 12 frame mid or a... Kazumi doesn't. So yeah, jab down forward one. There's a little gap there, but that's okay. It'll still be most of the things they can do. And it checks them if they're ducking. And then uh, I got down back four, which is a plus four on hit low, which is juicy. That means this into this is a frame trap. I'm going to do this a lot. Because this string is natural on normal hit. And if they press, they're going to die. Boom. And I get Oki okay too. So that is going to be plus on block stuff. I can also do jab stand 4 because her stand 4 is a counter hit launcher. Which is kind of a, a generic thing. So anything that's plus. Any strings that will blow people up for pressing. And throws. Uh, and then of course plus on hit lows. But you gotta be careful, because a lot of people at these ranks will mash. Especially a Ling player, who is second Dan, is gonna want to mash, right? So, I don't want to necessarily throw lows to begin with. Uh, you kind of don't want to start your offense with lows. You want to get a feel for, like, when does this person duck? If at all. Or are they gonna mash? Because lows are slower than your, your quick pokes. So lows are going to 
often get you counter hit. Here's the other thing with Ling, is she goes under everything, so I'm gonna down forward one like a crazy person. I'm just gonna keep down forward one-ing, pull the trigger. I was actually looking for a whiff there, I'll talk about that in a second. Alright. I tried to do a low, I got counter hit, that's okay. More mids. I'm gonna just let her whiff. She doesn't want to whiff. Oh, there it is. I missed it. That's okay, we'll go in now. I hit her with the second hit of the string, so... I'm gonna finish my string. If that first hit whiffs. That's another common, like... If you have like a mid with an extension, you can let that thing rip. It's kind of dirty, it's kind of scrubby, but it's gonna catch players who aren't familiar with your strings. So I'll try to do it again there. All right, I kind of get it. I gotta get off this wall. So having trouble doing it. There we go. I'm off the wall. Back dash. He whiffed, but my whiff punisher was not quite far enough distance to get him. I screwed up, but he didn't punish me. Alright. I should have learned some combos. In retrospect. That was a mistake to not learn combos. I'm going to throw the low here. And then I should kill him. Nope, I died. That's okay. I have a pretty good idea on how to handle this character now. So I'm getting him duck now. I'm just jabbing him. I'm just jabbing him. I want to see if he's going to duck. Alright. Okay, that's fine. I didn't actually want a wall running one. I got it on accident. Down back four. Frame trap. Power crush. I didn't press this time, so I'm going to get punished. Alright. Mid. You were just ducking in neutral? I'm gonna mid you. Mids. I'm gonna just play the spacing game now and use this really powerful mid. I also have a wall splatting throw. I haven't really got that in here yet, so... Didn't get the wall splat, but it's okay. So, Kazumi's wall running 2 is an interesting move. It's minus on block. It's a mid. It has really good range. It's kind of like a mid, a mid, kind of like a range two mid check. When I say range two, I mean like two back dashes or more away kind of deal. You have to do a wall running input to uh, have it come out. So depending on like how quickly you do your wall running, if you delay it, you can extend the range. And on block, it pushes back like really far. Like let me get him block it. See that how far back? So I'm just gonna like keep doing this until he presses something. It whiffed there, that's okay. Oh, you got me with a low. Nasty. That was actually a whiff punish. That was hilarious. That was a whiff punish as well. Low. So I just kinda mauled him. I gotta get him to block this mid though, so I can show you guys what I'm thinking here. Oh, okay. Yep, you can't AOP under my mid. Ooh, I pressed on a string, see? Powerful. Okay, he's freezing up. He's freezing up, so I gotta do lows on him. I'm gonna hell sweep him. Low. Oh, that low doesn't hit grounded. My bad. Boom. Okay, so let's see if he's still gonna freeze up. Let's find out. The way I find out is I jab. I'm gonna just jab him. He's freezing up. He's scared. He's like, this guy he keeps getting counter hit. So he doesn't want to keep getting counter hit. This mid is destroying him. So I'm just gonna keep doing this because he doesn't like it. There's the whiff. So that's what I wanted to talk about is my mid pushes him back, but if he presses anything, I'm in perfect position to get a whiff punish. So I'm already looking for it. I'm already looking for it. When he blocks that wall running too. And 
and then I can use the the spacing to see is he gonna whiff? He's gonna leave now. That's fine. Ling is kind of a weird character. And then when we bullied him with the wall running two, uh, what happened was the Ling player like froze up. And Havoc, this is gonna be archived, and I'm gonna I'll be posting the video uh, probably like on YouTube, and I'll put the link pinned in the um, beginner resources channel on uh, the Michigan Tech and Sessions Discord. I'll probably do three videos. I'll do one for like Dan ranks, one for teals, and then one for green ranks. I really didn't need to throw lows, like, until he, like, kind of froze up. I also could have just thrown him, because he wasn't going to break that 1 plus 2. But because Ling uh, will high crush a lot, I just did lows. And I, I really waited until he was super scared. Ah, another uh, completely normal Tekken character, Yoshimitsu. At least with Yoshi, I don't have to worry about my jab getting crushed as much. He can flash, so I have to be careful with my timing against Yoshi players. So I'm going to like do like jab, jab, and then kind of wait and see what he does. Because if he flashes, I can um, get a free punish on that. And you don't know what kind of guy this is. Is this a flash all the time guy? Or does he save the flash for like a special occasion? Oh, nice back 1-1. One, one back two more mids he was kind of moving there so i just threw the mid anyway all right he's poking me nice nicely done yoshi I didn't mean to do Hunting Hawk there. That's okay. Let the frame trap go. And now I can kill him with basically anything. Okay. He's not doing any lows. There's one. Two. There was the flashes. I missed, I should have just done 3-2 as a whiff punisher. I was trying to be fancy. Nice. Oh, I pressed. My bad. I just used the, uh, the sweep to take him out. Kazumi has a, a hex sweep, but she doesn't get very good Oki off of it. But it can be a really good uh, against like opponents who are super turtly. I don't know how to do her uh, float combos. <laughs> it can also be really good as like a round ender, like I did there. All right, so he's getting the idea of the wall running too. So we're gonna do some other stuff. I'm just gonna bully him with jab. A jab is my frame trap. Jab, 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 stand four. Okay, he's getting fancy. That's nice. I knew that was going to be a low already, because he did it before. And then he doesn't know this low is coming, so. Uh, Kazumi's Hunting Hawk Havoc is like, um, it's got like three hits, and it's got two different enders that are both unsafe. But one force is crouch. It's kind of a weird move. Um, I mostly just use it as a combo extender for her rage drive. I don't really, uh, I don't really like using it that much. Is it like up four or three? Yeah, like that thing. It's just weird. You can throw it out though. Same thing. Like I could throw out these strings if I wanted to. He's not gonna duck that. So who cares? All right, he wants to do that string. He's he's taking my advice. He's doing strings. 
Alright, he's getting turtley, so... There's the power crush, because he was panicking. He's getting worried. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda jab him, and then throw him. And then her throw, she gets a lot of damage off of. Like, watch this. Into Oki. Nice block. Oh, I might die. Nope. Oh, I didn't punish it. Oh, I might die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I should have swept him sooner. I got greedy on my Oki. Because this low is only plus one. So you can do, like, jab-jab after this really consistently. Uh, I tried to whiff punish the second hit of that. Nice. This Yoshi's actually kind of okay. Nice. Homing move to check my sidestep. That is it again. Okay, so he doesn't want me to sidestep. I get you. I think I failed that Rage Art. Yeah, I did. He should have killed me for it, though. He didn't. Oh, I wanted Hex Sweep. I hit 3 plus 4, but I wanted the Sweep. He's flexing. He's doing flashes. He's like, yeah, I'm beating this guy. This is the greatest day of this Yoshi player's life. So more... Uh, more Dwell Running 2, I think. There's the whiff. And 4-3. Oh, he spun out of the 4-3. That was cool. He's not biting on that string, so I should stop using it. Ow. <laughs> Yoshi's Power Crush is whack. It's funny, though. Oh, nice. Wake up button. Nice block. Just use jab to kill him. Sometimes like jab or down four one is uh is really good as a round ender. Cause like they're probably expecting a low. I didn't actually want that, I wanted hop kick. Oh, my hop kick was late there. I could try to set up a magic four there. Didn't work out. Try again. He's not taking the bait, so I'll try something else here. I always do raw fly into mid. He just got hit by a low, so he's like thinking mid. The other thing is like these first dance, like I might be overthinking it a little bit, honestly. Like if I were to just like jab this guy, I wonder what he'd do. He's going to sword sweep. He really has his heart set on sword sweeping me. He wants this win really bad. He's probably going to get it. All right, jab you. Down for one. He waits. So this guy's actually kind of smart. Like, he's, um, he wants me to step so he can do his tracking move. That's actually, like, good. Most first dance are not, not that aware. Some first dance, you can literally just do one move on them over and over again. But this guy has... I don't know. I feel like he shouldn't be first dan with the way that he's playing. But he's somehow, for some reason, he's got 51 wins. Hey, what's up, Dark Sun? We're just chilling here. Oh, he's on promotion. We gotta stop it. We gotta stop it. Uh, Kazumi does technically have a stance with this. Oh, that's not unsafe? Okay, my bad. I ducked that. Okay, so he's getting pressy. Nice. I didn't mean to do that. 
Oh well. I think I got him, yeah. I should just throw him. He doesn't really want to duck. So, like, my frame traps aren't going to cook him. I could throw lows, but, like, he's not going to break this. So, we're just going to do throws and lows now. Come on, get off the ground. Get back on the wall. So he doesn't want to press. So now I'm gonna make him. He just still doesn't. He doesn't want to duck and he doesn't want to press. So this is good. I didn't actually expect to find someone like this until green ranks. You actually screwed up my video, Yoshi player. He's doing anything to keep me out of his face now because he knows this throw is gonna kill him. And I'm just frame trapping him with the lows. And I've got a I've got a high that's plus on block too, so I can use that. And of course he goes low again. Blocked the promotion. Um This guy's way better than uh what I would expect for a first stand though. Um I would expect him to be at least like Grandmaster. But He might have trouble with people who mash on him. I don't know. He should be in my session, man. I could help this guy. Let's see if we can get to uh, third Dan here. I forget my... Um, there's my power crush. 4-2, yeah. Power crushes can be good at these ranks, too. know my combos. Knowing your combos is also very good at these ranks. I could have probably killed him if I knew my combos. So you definitely want to be getting damage off of launchers. And placing launchers is also quite good. Like, Notice how he didn't punish that launcher? He's not punishing this gigantic launcher, so I'm going to keep that in mind. That I just have a big safe launcher that launches him to oblivion. And I can just throw it out whenever I want. Okay. He's kind of getting confident, so let's throw him. He's not in rage. Oh, that was bad. Rage drive? Throw. Dead. Oh, I think he rage quit. Maybe not. Okay. No. False alarm. False alarm. He's getting real laggy, though. Did he uh, just unplug his router? Is that the... He didn't unplug the Tekken, but he unplugged the router. I'm going to wake up kicks here. Okay, it didn't work out. I still like it. Okay, do, do it again. He really doesn't want to get thrown. He's very scared of this throw. He doesn't know how to stop it. And that just basically kept him out with the rage drive. I knew he was going to press something once he was in range. Yeah, he, he has the uh, the time stone, Dark Sun. He hit me with the time stone. So we'll find someone else. It's all good. What rank are we at? We're at second dance still. I got to get at least the teal ranks. I need those points, man. Uh, let's try the same dude. So we'll just wait for the next guy. Um, combos. If I do this, I'm probably just gonna do this and then like run up and like. Could probably uh, do like. Hold on, let me figure this out. Like this. That's good for that launcher um, for me right now. And then like her normal launch, 
is like, uh, what would I do for a normal launch with her? Something like this. And then what do I tailspin with? Probably the same thing. And then just run up. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. If I can get 60 damage, I'm happy. I don't like doing back forward inputs and combos. That's one of the reasons I don't play Kazumi that much. Cause this, she's got the uh, back forward two, the Mishima laser scraper. For some reason, I don't like dashing into a back forward. Uh, I could honey hawk after screw. I wonder. Let's find out. Not with Miss Character. It doesn't seem no. Her Hunting Hawk actually will Tailspin. Which is why you could use it after um, after the Rage Drive. Hunting Hawk is probably another string that I can just kind of throw out every now and then. Just to see if they're going to press. I think this is a different Ling player, man. The Lings are out in full force, man. They don't want to uh, be jabbed. They're gonna Art of Phoenix under my jabs. Feels bad. <laughs> you ran into the one Kazumi player with a 100% win rate against Ling, pal. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? I like this guy's um, profile picture of like, I don't know, it's like Cloud shirtless with Barret. So that's plus on block into another wall running move. I could have done something easier, but I just kind of felt like doing another wall running. Alright, I gotta see what's going on. Lows? More lows? Throw that hunting hawk out. Hey, it worked. Nice block. I didn't break the 1 plus 2. What's going on here? I got 1 too. Alright, so anything will kill him. I have a low that hits grounded, so... Oh god. Yep, that's going to crush jabs all day. So, I got to lay down the wall running 2s. It's like my mid. You know, with Jin, this would be forward 4. With Jack, this would be 4 forward 1. Everyone... Not everyone has a mid like this, but a lot of characters have like a mid that you can just kind of be like, hey... Chill out and play Tekken. That's my chill out and play Tekken mid. That was a missed input, but it worked out. That's a whiff punish. I like to whiff punish at the wall a lot. Um, a lot of time, it's called like, uh, in 2D games, we call it jailing. I don't think there's a term for it in Tekken, but like you get the wall and you just kind of let them chill. And you give them space, and then you just whiff punish them. I'll do it right here. Yeah, see? Boom. That was a jab that got crushed. That was weird. Try to hop kick. My hop kick's kind of not that great. Alright, crushing my jabs. I gotta remember, down 4 1 is gonna be a better option for me. Oh, nice. That floor breaks. Caught her pressing with a throw. And again, down back threes hits grounded, so I don't have to worry. Uh, By neutral, do you mean like neutral on block moves, Havoc? Because, uh, like, uh, Jin, Jin 1, 2, 3 is neutral on block. But you can frame trap, because you can jab after that, and you're probably more ready to jab than they are when they're defending. And if you do think they're going to jab, you can either use your down jab or your sidestep after Jin 1, 2, 3. So, zero on block uh, is actually, I don't have anything I don't think that's zero on block. I either have negative, like down forward one is minus, minus like three. Oh, caught me with the low, that's okay. I'm going to keep working this throw.
I had to do a different combo against female characters, unfortunately. But with the Forgotten Realm, I get a lot of damage still. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Nope, I'm not dead. Man, that mid is uh, really good from Ling. I don't know what mid that is, but it's good. It was crushing jab and counter hit launching. It looks like it might be plus on block. Like, a good mid. I gotta, I gotta play some Ling one of these days. Ha! I wanted a hop kick. I keep forgetting which buttons hop kick. Oh, my whiff punish missed, but it didn't matter. Nice throw. I was late to the break. Okay, so what am I not doing? I'm not hex sweeping. So if I can get her to sit still, oops, I couldn't get her to sit still. There we go. Now, once she gets afraid of the low, then I can go back to counter hitting. I need to make her play crazy if she's not going to play crazy. And if she's playing crazy, I need to make her sit still. You just want to make people change what they're doing. Like, if they're mashing a lot, kill them for mashing. And then if they stop mashing, low them until they start mashing or ducking or something. Oh god. Power crush. I have one too. Oh, that's not a power crush. <laughs> oh, that's going to kill me. It did not kill me. Okay, now they're ducking. She's ducking after jab. This is godlike. She thought she would get cute instead of breaking the throw to just duck. If you're gonna duck, I got that big down for one two waiting for you. I think she's leaving. Okay. So, and one of the reasons I picked Kazumi, she has a really good jab, but she doesn't have a lot of, like, cheese that I can hit people with. So, like, it kind of makes it, it puts it on me to have to kind of play in a way that, like, you could play with any character. That's why I like Kazumi for this. But, like, just jab, jab. Oh, you're going to duck? I have a mid. You're not going to duck? I have a throw or a low. You're going to mash, I can just keep jabbing, or I can do jab four, which I haven't actually landed on anyone yet, which is weird. Uh, I've got, like, magic four hitting not counter hit. It's like, what are you doing after a blocked jab other than blocking or pressing buttons? I don't understand. <laughs> like, you could step, their magic four does not track, so they're not stepping. They're like, I don't know what they're doing. Here's a teal rank. I think we're on the the cusp of getting to initiate here. I'll probably... We didn't get any proper beginner players, so I'll probably just lump Dan's and Teal's together. In the... Uh, ow. Ow. Alright, Drag. Do you press? This guy does not press. That's cool. He did dick jab. I sidestepped, but I was, like... With the online connection, I was a little late, so... Uh, so I got some information. I'm losing this round, but I got some good information on this guy. He likes to just kind of stand and then wait for openings. Which is great if I just don't give him openings. Then he can't do anything. So let's see if he does anything different. I'm actually just going to let a launcher rip here. Nice power crush. I should probably save that for the wall. I'm not going to do that again until I get to the wall. And that actually, I grabbed him right out of a startup animation. He ate jab jab and he wanted to press. So I, I kind of cracked this guy with frame traps. 
So now, what does he do? Down two, the Dragonov way. He caught me with that little string and a snake edge. I was just trying to hit him with a, a wall running two. I keep forgetting my hop kicks over here. It's not a three hop kick, it's a, it's a four hop kick. Ah, counter hit. Okay. I thought I could whiff punish that snake edge, but it tip range counter hit me. So I'm not going to give him any room to like do stuff now. I'm just going to get right up in his face. And then just jab him. Throw him on the wall. I get a billion damage off of this. Low frame trap. He pressed. Why did he press there? He wasn't pressing earlier in the game. Uh, I just kept hitting him. He kept getting hit. So he finally saw something that he knew was minus. So he immediately was like, I got to take my turn. I'm going to lose. And I finish the string and I kill him.